Uh, welcome everybody to this uh, presentation of the new features of Harmony 17. Uh, we've done a lot of work in this version, we're really excited about that. Uh, we worked a lot on the drawing tools, improving their responsiveness, improving the feel of the drawing tools, um, to make them feel natural. Um, so for example, I'll start here by drawing on a blank page. I'll take my brush tool. So one thing we've done to our tools, whether it's the vector brush tool with texture, without texture, the bitmap tool or the pencil tool, is we've improved the responsiveness of how, you, how the tool feels. So when I draw, no matter how fast I draw now, the, the stroke will always appear directly under my, uh, my stylus. It will be very fast. Uh, you can really feel the difference. It's difficult to see on video here and uh, without actually experiencing it. But uh, I made this stroke very, very fast and there's no right edges in that. Everything is really, really smooth. So that's one thing that you don't see. It's just the brush engine that we've modified inside the software. But this does not affect just the brush. It also affects the, um, the, slide, the, the pencil tool. Uh, now, if I want to show you a little bit about the other features we've added, uh, let's say I want to do some little bit of cleanup on this character right here. Um, and I want to just clean up that part right there. I might turn on my uh, light table right here before I do that. I zoom in, I can rotate my view like that. Erase a stroke here. And um, when I draw, sometimes now I'm trying to follow the line here, but I might be very slow and I, I might shake a little bit. I want to stabilize or improve the, uh, the smoothness of the line that I'm drawing. So right now I'm gonna start doing some cleanup on this character here. And when I'm doing cleanup, I'm gonna use the pencil tool. I'm gonna zoom in, rotate the view a little bit, zoom in on the, on, the, uh, on the head here. And when I'm cleaning up, I'm drawing very slow here, I might be shaking a little bit, wobbly a little bit, which makes a, a line that's not very, very clean. I want to have a very smooth line. So we have a new functionality here in the software uh, to stabilize while I'm drawing. It's available in the pen settings toolbar that I can add right there. Um, the first thing I have in the menu here is the stabilizer. I can select which type of stabilizer I want to use. I want to use the average or the pull string. I'll start with the average. I'll put a very high value just to show you how it works. When I press the stylus and I start drawing, you can see that actually it's trailing off a little bit. It's, it's a bit behind what I draw. Let me turn off the catch up here. So when I draw, it will average out whatever I do to draw a stroke. Now I have a very, very uh, high value, so this is why it's so far. Uh, but I would actually use something a lot lower than that. And the other one that I have is the pull string. The pull string is a bit the same, but it works in a different way where I'm actually pulling a string to make my drawing. So the big difference between the two is that Let's say I'm using the average one and I'm trying to draw a square. I won't be able to draw any very sharp corners. Undo. This is why I like to use the pull string where I can actually create sharp corners with that by pulling the string in different directions. I'm going to lower the value here. I like to use something around 10, 7, like this. Maybe just type 7 right there. I'm going to use that to actually draw that line. So this will give me a very smooth line like this. And when I want to draw those shapes here, since I'm using the pull string, I'll be able to actually make those in sharp edges, which I wouldn't be able to do if I was using the, uh, that was a bad line. Let me start over here. There we go. And like this. So even if I have a shaky line, a shaky hand, I can have a very smooth line. Now the other thing we've done to improve the uh, pencil and the brush responsiveness is actually we have the ability to select or to adjust the pen pressure. So what is that actually? So this is the amount of pressure that I apply when I'm drawing on the tablet here will be translated or converted into pressure for drawing. So uh, converted for the drawing size, for the size, the tip of my brush, or for the uh, opacity, if I have an opacity value. So I like to use something like this. So we have a couple of presets. 
what I like to use is this one where I have to press harder for the stroke to become bigger. So if I make my stroke a little bit bigger here. So now with the pen pressure feel adjusted, when I'm drawing here and I'm pressing harder, it really gives me a better feel for the stroke that I want to draw. Uh, I really like this way. Uh, there's a couple of presets. You can have something like this where you need to apply a lot of pressure at the start and a lot less pressure at the end. Uh, really, my, my favorite is this one. You can also adjust the threshold at which point it will start uh, making a stroke when you, uh, when you apply the pressure. Another new feature we've had it in this version of the software is the ability to actually use the tilt angle of your stylus when you're drawing and also the rotation. So if you're using uh, something like this one, this is an Art Pen Pro from Wacom, it actually knows which angle I'm using it when I'm rotating it. It's actually the, the tablet uh, knows that. I'm going to go in my preferences first. I will enable the brush size cursor. I want to preview my cursor as I'm drawing. I will open my pen settings here. I'll change the shape to square and I'll make it a little bit flat like this. So one thing you'll notice, I have two new options here, the pen tilt sensitivity. If I go all the way to 100, and I will make this a bit bigger so you can see what's happening. When I'm actually rotating or tilting the stylus, it will project to the angle that I'm tilting the stylus. And the other option, just below, right here, is the use pen rotation. So when I have this enabled, if I'm rotating my pen, you can see that it's actually rotating the tip of my pen. So I can use this, select the angle that I want, instead of always having to come here to change the angle of my, of my brush tip, I can actually enable this, select the angle that I want, and then start drawing. Boom, boom, oh, there we go. Boom, like that. So as you can see, we've done a lot of improvements to the actual drawing feel that we have in the software. Harmony is, is known for its excellent drawing tools and we've made those tools even better with Harmony 17. Thanks for watching.